Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's try a numerical example of the exterior angle theorem for triangles. So here we have a triangle and notice we have an exterior angle right here which is denoted by 2x minus 5 degrees. Then we have the value for two of the interior angles. This angle, angle A, has a measure of 70 degrees and angle B has a measure of x degrees. And of course they want us to solve for x. Now we can use the um, the exterior angle theorem that says that the value or the, uh, the measure of the exterior angle must be equal to the sum of the measures of the two angles that are not adjacent to the exterior angle, which is the angle A and B. So here we can say, say that if this is angle 1, for, or, well, this is angle C, so let's call this angle right here, let's call the exterior angle 1. And so we can then say that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B must equal to the measure oh, the measure of angle 1. That means that the measure of angle A, which is 70 degrees, plus the measure of angle B, which is x degrees, must equal the measure of angle 1, which is 2x minus 5 degrees. And of course, now we have to solve that for x. So to make it easy, we can get rid of all the degrees and simply write this as 70 plus x equals 2x minus 5. Now what we want to do is move all the x's to one side and all the numbers to the other side. So here we have x minus 2x when we cross the equal sign, the sign changed from positive to negative. And here we have a minus 5 when we bring the 70 over the other side becomes minus 70. Combine like terms, so we have minus x equals to minus 75 and multiply both sides by negative 1 to get x equals 75. So there we go, x must equal 75. Well, let's check to make sure. So that means that uh, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B, oop, I missed my A there, A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C must add up to 180 degrees. All right, based upon that, we can say that the measure angle C must equal 180 degrees minus the measure of angle A minus the measure of angle B. All right, that means that the measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus the measure of angle A, which is 70 degrees, minus the measure of angle B, which now we know is 75 degrees. So that means that the measure of angle C must equal 35 degrees. All right. We also know from the exterior angle theorem, oh no, from that theorem, we also know that angle C is plus angle 1, that these two angles, they're supplementary angles, which means that, we'll draw a line here, that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle C must add up to 180 degrees. And we already know what the measure of angle C is. Now what about the measure of angle 1? Well, we know that it's 2x minus 5 degrees plus the measure of angle C. And instead of writing that, I might as well just write what it's equal to. We know that it's equal to 35 degrees. And now, of course, the question mark, is that equal to 180 degrees? If it is, then we found the correct value for x. So 2 times x, that's 2 times 75, or 150 minus 5 degrees plus 35 degrees equals 180 degrees, question mark. And here that means we have 145 degrees plus 35 degrees. Is that indeed equal to 180 degrees? That should be an 8. There we go. And sure enough, when we add that up, we can see that 180 degrees equals to 180 degrees. So since that came out to be equal, we could then say that we did find the correct value for x. And again, notice that it's a great theorem, comes in really handy in all kinds of applications, the exterior angle theorem for triangles. And that is how we take advantage of it.